we're going to wrap, I have some par-cooked bacon, which is part of this recipe here, which I put on a sheet pan and baked in the oven. And we're wrapping up the endives. Now let's say, in this particular case, for example, I had a piece of bacon that wasn't long enough to go around the endive. So what you do in that case is, you get, I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I think it's cooking fast enough for me. This is not about browning the onions. You don't want that. We're going to ultimately be serving these onions with the braised endive later. And we don't need to brown them. This is not a browned dish, if you will. Until the very end when we brown the Parmesan cheese on top, but that's a different kind of thing. Now you can layer the bacon pieces on top of each other so that you can get all the way around the endive, if you see what I mean. And you just secure this with a toothpick, like so. I've got, see, I've got one, two, here's another one that needs a second piece of bacon to make it work. Okay. And let's try this one. I think we can squeeze this one on with one piece of bacon here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to end up braising six pieces of endive here. Now this item is also served as a first course. Uh, but typically, it could it'd be served as a vegetable, too. But you can serve this as a first course in a multi-course dinner, too. Let's see if we can get this piece of bacon around here. Uh, maybe. The important thing, of course, is that the bacon is in the braising pan. Not so much that it is able to stay wrapped around the endive during the entire time. Although it does help because it gets the pork flavor right on the endive. Okay, now we're going to mix, as this recipe calls for, a little bit of garlic into the chopped onion. We move the onion, sautéed onion, back onto the stove area here. I took it off for a second because I thought it was cooking fast enough for us. There's something very basic about the way this is being done and the finishing process, which I will kind of go over with you as we're doing the finishing process. But braising, in this particular case of vegetables, typically all kind of looks a little bit like this. You cook a little onion or something with it, add some flavoring, seasoning type items, then add the item that's going to be braised, cover it with stock, and cover it up and cook it slowly in the oven, that's, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to Place the endives right in here with the onion now. And you see what I got down here? Pan down to the endives, Richard. And we're going to take some chicken stock. And we're going to cover these a third to halfway. Now I'm going to put this on top of the stove, and we're going to cover them up on top of the stove, and I'm going to bring this to a simmer, a very light simmer on top of the stove. Then I'm going to quickly put it in the oven. So um, well, let me talk to you while I'm waiting for that to come to a simmer about a couple of options you can exercise or incorporate into this particular recipe. Now, you can, at this particular point, put a little bit of tomato concasse into the recipe. And there's other things you can add to this. You can put shaved fennel into this recipe. You can put whole garlic cloves into the recipe instead of chopped and serve them whole on the dish. Um, all right, it's come to a boil now. It's coming to a simmer quickly here. So I'm going to take this and put it into a 375 degree oven. And we're going to time elapse this particular preparation, of course. This is going to take approximately 40 minutes, 50 minutes, maybe an hour, right in there, for these endives to be tender enough to eat. When they are tender enough to eat, we're going to take it out of the oven. We're going to remove the endives, and we're going to proceed to make sauce out of the braising liquid together. 
when we come back in about 45, to, 45 minutes to an hour or right now. So I'll see you when the endives are cooked and tell you exactly how long they took. The Belgium endives have been braising for approximately an hour and 20 minutes. I turned them over about 40 minutes, 35 minutes through the cooking process, rolled the endives over so the other half was submerged in the chicken stock. And they are now done. They are tender enough to eat. We're going to pull them out of the oven right now and show you what this is all about. As you can see, the braising liquid has dissipated tremendously. And now we have half the amount of chicken stock that we used to have. Now these Pyrex oven proof glass <clears throat> vessels for cooking and browning and baking and gratinating in, the, in and out of the oven, we're going to use to what you might call plate up and prepare for the final presentation of the endives. Let's start by getting the endives out of there. They're nice and tender, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Give me a shorter pair of tongs, will you please? Luis? Thank you, sir. Now, just in case you happen to have saw the written recipe, or Heard me mention something, if I did, about adding the lemon to the braising liquid. I want you to go all the way back to the beginning of this course. One of the things I told you was, if I make a mistake, I'm not going to redo it. I'm going to show you what I would do if I had to fix it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I did not put the lemon into the braising process with the endives. So we're going to start by putting a little bit of lemon juice right in here. Now, the braising liquid itself, we're going to start reducing it right now on top of the stove. Did you get a good look at that? Not really. All right, let's take a good look at that braising liquid. You've got your fresh herbs, your onion, your garlic, your chicken stock. Okay? And this is going to be the sauce for these endives in a minute. Now, in a separate pan, I'm going to reduce the cream that this recipe calls for right now. We just need a little bit of cream in there. Now, the endives themselves. Let's take them up on the cutting board. Let's pull the bacon off. They look nice. If you're not doing a video like I am, you might want to let your endives rest a little while before you handle them just because they're easier to handle when they're not real hot, but it's not going to stop me from doing it for you at all, believe me. This is one of those cases where the braising liquid is thickened via the reduction only and the addition of the reduced cream. There'll be no thickening agent, per se, added to this item. All right, we've got all the bacon there. And let's put a little more lemon here. I want to taste that braising liquid just for the fun of it so I know kind of where it's at right now. This braising liquid is remarkably good right now. It didn't take that much beyond the natural process. I'm going to reduce this down the fire just a little bit. 